Hello, I'm Lynn Wolf, Managing Editor of Rural Lifestyle Dealer Magazine, with my editorial for our Winter 2014 issue, Back to Basics in a Maturing Market. Dealers have spoken and the numbers are in. Our 2014 Dealer Business Trends and Outlook Survey forecasts that 2014 will be better than 2013. So, if your 2013 was already good, you're again making solid gains. And if your 2013 revenues were down, chin up. You have a chance of gaining ground this year. This survey marks the seventh time that Rural Lifestyle Dealer has polled Rural Lifestyle Equipment Dealers, giving our readers the most comprehensive analysis in the industry. A look back at our 2008 survey offers an interesting perspective. Dealers were positive back then, despite, quote, the economic malaise dominating the headlines, wrote our executive editor, Dave Kanicki. What were they positive about? Power hand tools. Six years ago, that category topped the list of 21 product groups that dealers thought would have the same or improved sales from the previous year. The list topper for 2014, Zero Tone Mowers, was not even yet recognized as a breakout category six years ago. A comparison of these two product categories shows how the rural lifestyle market is maturing uh, today's rural lifestylers want machines, not just tools, and they want models comparable to what has traditionally been used by professional landscapers. Dealers have already adapted by devoting salespeople to this segment. Chris Frodo, Vice President of Mid-State Equipment in Janesville, Wisconsin, raises the idea of another possible shift in the sales process. Frodo serves on our first ever editorial advisory board. Quote, we've restructured our sales process making our sales team account managers. This is to ensure that we have the right people calling on the right accounts. We want them to get out of the old habit of being in the store and, and get them to start calling on new accounts. Eric Roach, general manager of SNH Farm Supply in Java, Missouri, offers this thought on just what some of those new accounts could be. If you live in our area, and if you have 500 acres or less, you're a rural lifestyler because you're not making a living at it. That statement indicates the breadth of the rural lifestyle market, from homeowners with less than an acre to someone with hundreds of acres. We were impressed by the honesty and dialogue among the board. While they're thinking strategically and creatively, they also sh shared how they're struggling with the details of running a dealership. For instance, they talked about the basic process of sales, such as the need for written procedures and developing rural lifestyle sales processes that are different than those used for production ag equipment. The dealers share their concerns over upholding warranties as a drag on their dealerships, not being reimbursed enough for the time spent. Communication among stores, motivating and incentivizing service techs, and employee management were other concerns. Rural lifestyle dealers today are in a unique position to really grow their dealerships. Jamie Trinchatella, turf salesperson with AgriVision, says this, Take the Gator UTV. It's astonishing how many of those we can sell. Next year we'll sell more, and the next year we'll sell even more. However, that growth will only be sustainable if dealers master the basics, the details of being efficient. There's no time to waste as you tighten up your policies and procedures. You've got to be fast. It's all about speed and being able to adapt, says Roach. We look forward to working with our advisory board this year to share those strategies for efficiency and excellence. And thank you to all the dealers who participated in our survey. Here's to a profitable 2014.